Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11 and it goes like this. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water fail not. Well, as a lot of you might know, my uh, stepbrother passed away, and so I uh, wanted to attend his uh, funeral, his memorial service up in northwest Oklahoma. Well, the day I took out, it was raining. In fact, there was tornadoes uh, here and there, here in Texas, and so I drove through rain. I meant hard rain, and... Uh, on my way up there. Now for years, I have uh, uh, always admired GPS, uh, Global Positioning Systems. It's similar to what the aircraft use to get from point A to point B, but in our automobiles, uh, they pretty much come standard, I think, anymore, but uh, what this system does is it's, it knows where you're at. And if there's a, a, a wreck or something like that in front of you, it'll, it'll let you know and, and it will reroute you, take you around a different direction. And it did that several times on my trip to and, to and from. And I'm, I'm so glad that uh, for change, I paid attention to it and, and it's really handy at night because, you know, you just, you can't know where all the accidents are or the road closures and things like that, but this GPS will help you, uh, make it safely home if you listen to it. Now, uh, we have a GPS system. If you're a child of God, it's called the Holy Spirit. And uh, he is our guide. Uh, Psalms 139, uh, 7, beginning in verse 7, it says, Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither I shall flee from thy presence? If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. You see, folks, we have uh, God's spirit that will speak to us and uh, telling us no, no, about like uh, lost in space. You, you remember that back in the 60s? Danger, danger, Will Robertson. Uh, Robertson. Uh, that was a, a, an old uh, sitcom. But the Holy Spirit will do basically the same thing with us. When we're starting to do something that we shouldn't do, go to places that we shouldn't go, that still small voice begins to speak to us, beware. Don't do that. Turn around. And, uh, you know, many times we turn around. But unfortunately, probably most of the time, we just proceed on with what we're doing. And we shouldn't. Because God knows what we need, when we need it, and where we should go and where we shouldn't go. If you read the Bible, it'll pretty much tell you the steps that you must take. And uh, so be sure and listen to this still small voice, the voice of God telling you, watch out, beware, beware. And then turn to the right or to the left, but don't continue on that same path. Well, I hope this encourages someone today to listen to that still, small voice. It's the voice of God, the Holy Spirit, 
directing your paths. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.